Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Doctor Who. You guys, I'm very excited to be watching this with you here today. If you're joining me early today, you know what it means. It means you're one of my awesome patrons, which also means thank you so much, and I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. If not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon will be in that description down below. So I really enjoyed last week's Doctor Who. Um, I'll talk a little bit about it because um, I'm not sure what I didn't cover like in my outro last time. But essentially I think it was just a really fun like one shot episode. Um, I feel like uh, it kind of covered a lot of bases. I was pretty invested in the the characters that they presented to us for the episode, you know, the ones that we were following. I think it, it was a good plot. I like that they kind of dropped us in the middle and we were kind of figuring it out from there and our crew was already like a little bit ahead of us on the story. So we were like, we the audience were catching up. Um, I think it was, yeah, like a, a decent enough plot and um, had a good message that, you know, I, I said this a little bit last week as well, I think it was worked into the story really well so that it felt natural, but the message definitely got across. Um, it was fun. There was mention of a talking cat. That stuck with me a lot. I happen to remember that. And um, not to mention, we also got... Um, I think a, a substantial creepy factor in last week's episode as well. Um, <laughs> this could just be me personally, but all the stuff with the birds really creep me out. Um, so, you know, again, maybe it's just me and like horror movies I've seen in the past, but, um, but I thought it had kind of its own um, really good suspense and um, it was just, you know, it was an all around a uh, good little one-shot story. Um, I am really excited to find out some more about some of the bigger things that they dropped on us the episode prior. Um, I don't know when we'll be getting any more info or resolution about, you know, any of the huge bombshells that they dropped on us in that episode, i.e. this, like, new mysterious missing doctor who we know is in Jody's past, um, or, um, you know, is Captain Jack going to show up again? Or, you know, several episodes prior to that, we had the whole thing with Gallifrey going on and the mention of the Timeless Child, you know. I'm really excited to get to some of that, like, um, kind of, like, overarching story kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with the just kind of like fun adventure episodes too. I enjoy those and if every episode was just like a big dramatic you know some kind of huge plot then those episodes wouldn't be special anymore. So um, I think the little breather was nice. Um, I do hope that we'll um, get a little bit of resolution on at least one of the big new topics that they opened up for us um, this season soon. So um, without further ado, I can't wait to see. I have no idea since I don't watch any previews or anything. For all I know, this could be a big episode. It could be another just like fun adventure episode. I don't know, but there's only one way to find out and that's to jump into the next episode of Doctor Who. Let's go. I told you to lock the doors. We don't do that. Get everyone out. What's going on? <sighs> Whoa! I look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> what? what? I didn't like that. What? Bought chips. You gonna let me in or what? It's not a good time. Um. I got chips though. <laughs> <laughs> what part of chips do you not understand? <laughs> let him in. You guys go this way. <gasps> show all the interesting stuff with. Is it my Aww. Friendly visitors. Visitor. You have to get out. Why? 
because there's one still here. Uh, is that the one that popped? No. Oh, yeah. No, that's. That's not the guy that showed up on the TARDIS. That's something altogether different. Is it possible to like, sh the girl's like imagining it? I don't know. And like bringing it to life with her thoughts or something? In real life, outside the flat, across the hall, in my room. Oh my god, is this really Freddy Krueger? Look at me. So, for movie after? What? So you can fall asleep halfway through? I do not do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can totally relate though. Oh no 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 no! I'm mm, I'm I'm not about I'm not about that. Mm, I'm I'm even less about that. Mm mm. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't, oh, no, okay, all right. What? What did he take the friend, too? Oh, my God, he took him? Oh my god, he took him. So, deliberately targeting a hospital of vulnerable people. The place is silent. Where is everyone else? How many people were here? Maybe 10 or 12 patients? I'm really sorry. But I think those creatures must have taken them. So that's a mental hospital. No and and Ryan's friend was having How kind of trouble. If... Oh! oh Evidence. This yes. Come on, Alice. I'm telling you, you are. Who's she arguing with? The TARDIS. Because it's telling me, quite defiantly, that these two strands of fur do not exist when they're right there. Oh, so the I, it's like an imagination monster. Do you have any idea where those planets might be? You get me an A to Z of the universe, and I'll be able to stick my finger straight up. Oh, no, I've got no idea. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, is he serious? Way to go. And why here? What did the telepathic circuits lock onto? If they were hooked into your mind, no wonder was some are dark and weird. Boy. Uh, ouch! Half a galaxy past the gap. The engineering required to create that and keep it in place. Bravo. Whoever built that, round of applause from me. This is no time to fangirl. Can, can, can you let me find that? Zoom in. Have you seen this? Whole no. Oh. That's where I took them all. Oh no. So this thing only shows up when she's around. No. Your worst fears. 
Okay. Get away from it. I think I was right. Plus, you can release all of these people right now. And don't you ever come sneaking back into my family's uh, uh, No, I'm really creeped out by this. Okay. Does this have to do with her fears? Where you been then? Oh my god, he's you said you'd be back. Oh my god, he's older. How long have you been waiting? This is like, uh, let me, let me try again. it's playing off all their worst fears. Zelen was thought to be a god. I blocked. Oh. It can't be. We immortals need our games, Doctor. Eternity is long and so we this are is a game? To Such an exquisite animal. Built in pain. And the repositories of that pain for nightmares. I mean, this guy basically is Freddy Krueger, though. What you're doing, Doctor? <laughs> sure about that? Because look, your prisoner, she's free. Oh! I that use your own technology against you. He doesn't look too nervous, no. Doctor. I used your instinct. This platform is my technology. I didn't make this prison. She um, was always the more powerful officer, the more dangerous. That's why they imprisoned her. Uh oh. I just right. You won't feel a thing when this all burns. Yes. <laughs> this is like their Nintendo. That's that's We're not. not okay. Earth. Let's take them all. Yes. Oh, I don't think the doctors can let you do that. Oh, no, no, no. It's just what I was thinking. Oh, no. Wow! Right, I think this will help me, do you? Yeah, no, she's gonna get out. But man, they showed us a little, little uh, callback there. Look at the, look at, look at her. Ew! Right? Tapped into the bioorganic code. Sonic just fingers. Be a good finger. Stay. <laughs> Sit, roll over. <laughs> Could be useful. Right. I know why they didn't attack you. Because they're yours. Zelen, that man, created the Chikaska from your nightmares. What did I say? They didn't kill you, they couldn't. Because you created them. So, how do you defeat? There are no bogeymen. Um, Nothing to be worried about. Night night. Oh no. I see where this is going. I'm gonna be sleeping with the lights on tonight. Ah. No, oh, don't, no, no, mm -mm, no, I'm, it's bad enough with everyone else, but you guys know, you know, how I am with kids, you don't like hurting of the kids. You're wrong about humans, they're not pathetic, they're magnificent, they live with their fears, 
doubts, guilts, they face them down every day and they prevail. Yep. That's not weakness. That's strength. That's what humanity is. Isn't that right, Tahira? Yes, Doctor. Why don't you show them how strong you are? Oh. Gascon. You lost property. Thanks for lending a helping hand. She trained the fingers. Oh, I get it, helping hands. <laughs> well, if they were bored, I don't think they're bored anymore. Oh. That's what you get. I've said that to anyone before. It felt like it was just me. It's not just you. Those are some of the best words you can hear. Would have cash make a difference? I'll make you a deal. Look me up in three years. If I'm wrong, I'll give you 50 quid. I mean, I'd say more, but the pay's rubbish. <laughs> Get another job then. Can't love it too much. Hi, can I help you? Hi. You won't remember me. My name's Yasmin Khan. I flipping do remember you. Oh, I'm so glad she's okay. I was worried. I've got something for you. Oh my god. You wanna come in? I thought I should talk about it. Cause those nightmares, I mean Well they made me realise that the fear is 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 still there. Yeah. Yeah. I should say a reassuring thing now, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. I'm still quite socially awkward. She needs a care. <laughs> so I'm just going to subtly walk towards the console. How long is this going to last, Jess? Hanging out with a doctor? I don't know. Is this our lives? I was thinking mm. Frankenstein. What? Did I interrupt? Am I interrupting? <laughs> yeah. Cool. You might need to change clothes. Frankenstein, what? One more door. He's uh, having some second thoughts, I think. Ooh, I don't want to lose him as a companion. You guys, that was such a good episode. I would love to talk about it. Um, again, we had just a, kind of another fun uh, one shot, but this one had a very, very different tone. This one had a much um, heavier, creepier tone. It kind of had the sort of slow build up and heavy atmosphere that I feel like I might see in like a classic horror film. Um, the pace felt a little slow, but I think a lot of that had to do with um, just kind of the way that they were building everything up and um, being able to take a lot of moments to like talk things out and focus on um, the real climax kind of felt like not so much defeating the villain, but um, kind of introspective thought about things like mental health, where you're going in life, and and so forth. Um, so the pacing felt a little different to me, just because like I'm so used to, okay, there's a threat. Okay, we're going to have a climax, and then the threat is gone, and then we'll have like a little epilogue. And it didn't quite follow that format, but I see where they were going with it, and I like it. Um, it had, like I said, like the ambiance of the episode was really unique, I think. Um, I really loved the idea that, um, I love that they kind of explored like these just kind of sadistic sort of um, powerful beings that are just kind of toying with um, humanity and other um, civilizations just kind of for fun. Like this is, a, this is just kind of like their entertainment. They're just bored and they're just going to like torment people. It, it was to me like I watch a lot of Star Trek as well. So it kind of reminded me of like Q if Q was like way, way more sick. <laughs> And just like, I mean, they just, yeah, they were pretty unabashedly just really, like, sick about the way that they were uh, tormenting others um, for pleasure. Um, but I 
I loved the kind of creepy atmosphere and the um, exploring like all the different fears and nightmares and everything. Um, I'm a big fan of like just kind of dark, creepy, like nightmare related stuff because I'm also a big horror fan um so <laughs> all the like little they weren't even really um homages to Freddy Krueger but like in the beginning we had the hand over the face with the long claws and just the whole like nightmare thing just really reminded me of Nightmare on Elm Street there was really nothing about it that was Freddy Kruegerish at all but it just kind of like I to me like I kind of got a little bit of that vibe um but it was really good. The um, there was a little subtle twist that um, the one character that Graham had been seeing was actually like one of the gods and seemed to be like he said um, was maybe even a little bit more powerful than him. So letting her go, I guess, was the end goal from the start. And collecting all the nightmares and everything was like to keep her busy. It was like giving her like a a magazine and a waiting room basically be like keep you you know give you something to do keep yourself occupied look a little crossword puzzle or something so sick um so I really liked that they had really unique looks I thought the female god character had um kind of a really cool with the white hair almost kind of reminded me of like Storm from X-Men um and the guy was really creepy looking and I think both their looks like stood out a lot. I think just visually they were really, really interesting. Um, and there wasn't too much more to them just than that they were just like really selfish sick gods. But I like the way that they took the whole thing and used it as a way to explore um, how we as people overcome things like doubt, fear, mental illness, um, you know, guilt, regret. Um, I really, really enjoy that. I love that they flashed a number at the end and the website with more information. Um, I love it when um, you can find a, a little bit of help and strength in like a fandom that you love. So I thought that was really cool. Um, we got to see a little bit more about Yaz's past. I've don't know if they ever referred to the fact that um, she had had kind of like a troubled youth at one point, but I I like that they like took a little time to like explore her background a little bit more. And the scene where she goes back and sees a police officer was wonderful. I was so happy it was happy because I was so worried that like she would get there and they'd be like, oh no, that officer died in the line of duty or something. I'm like, no, please don't, don't crush me that way. But that was a really great moment. Um, so yeah, so I think it um, was a great way to kind of deal with that subject, you know? And I loved what the doctor said about, you know, humans aren't weak because of those things. We're strong because we live with those things every day, some more than others. And there's all, you know, there's always a way to, to work through it or try and overcome it. And, uh, that was great. I really liked that. They've, they've been very vigilant about like putting like little after school special type messages in the episodes. But this one, again, I thought was pretty pretty well woven in um it was uh it was it was definitely like a part of the story and not um just kind of like tacked on at the end um even though we did have like literally the number tacked on at the end but I'm glad that they did that that was really cool you never know who might be watching who might just like you know that might make a difference so um so good stuff um oh and we got to see the timeless child oh my goodness um I love that they dropped that little breadcrumb for us so that we can kind of uh you know we know like it's their way of saying hey guys guess what? It's coming. Keep watching. We're going to get into it. I really hope it's this season, but I don't know. It might not be. It might be something that they're planning on stretching out over Jody's run for who knows how long. Um, but you know, the whole thing with the lone Cyberman, um, with, um, some of the other things like, you know, the, the other doctor and everything. I, 
have a feeling those will be addressed a little bit sooner, but I don't know. We only have three episodes left at this point, guys. Um, so I personally cannot wait to see what happens next. I liked this episode. Very heavy tone, um, creepy ambiance, um, different. It was very different from the other one shots that we've gotten. And uh, overall, I'd say thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching with me. Uh, I hope you had a blast with it as well. I hope you had a blast with my reaction. And please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.